Hi, and welcome to Empty Nest Creations. My name is Wendy, um, and today we are going to be decorating these little canisters. These are wood canisters. I have two of them. They have a um, plastic liner on the inside, and the, the whole thing is made out of wood, but it does have a seal. So I've painted this um, with Country Chic paint in the color hollow hill and I did paint the rim but I didn't paint anything on the inside so this will still be food safe. I do have two of these um, and so what I thought we would do today is um, we're going to decorate these with the um, IOD transfers. Um, this is the lemon drops transfer and so um, we're going to add some of those to these canisters. Now, um, a Country Chic paint is a chalk paint, and so they recommend that you clear coat over the chalk paint before using the transfers. Um, that way they adhere a little bit better. So we're gonna go ahead and use um, the Country Chic's paint clear coat. And I'm just gonna put one coat on the canister, and then um, when that dries, we'll put the transfers on and then we will um, put another top coat over the transfers. So just a real quick light coat. And this goes on really easily and it dries quickly. So I'm getting the clear coat on and then I'm going to I go back over it and smooth out the strokes so that you don't get a lot of brush marks. So that's all four sides and then I'm just going to um, brush across this top rim with the clear coat as well this is just sealing in that chalk paint okay so I'm going to set this aside to dry um, clean out my brush and then we'll come back and we'll do the transfers. Okay, so um, this canister is dry and ready for the transfers. Um, and again, we're going to be using the lemon drop transfers. These now come in a pad and there are four separate sheets of transfers. Um, and these are just very different um, lemons. Lemons are really popular right now. So we're going to cut out some of these. Um, so they come with the transfers on a paper backing. And then it has this, um, this front piece. Um, let me see if I can get. So it comes with this plastic sheet with the grid lines and that helps you to line your um, transfers up on your project. You want to make sure that you don't peel the backing paper off before you're actually ready to put it onto the surface. Um, if you get any dust or dirt on the back of your transfer, it's not going to adhere to your project really well. So we're going to go through and just cut out a few of these lemons. 
and the way these are designed you can mix and match the different lemons um, so I'm just going to cut out a few of these So right here I have two lemons with the leaves and then um, on this very first sheet there's just a set of leaves with a blossom. So we're going to cut that out as well. This, this is the other transfer. It's just got a blossom with two leaves. So this is a larger lemon. Um, it has a piece of a, a leaf here and then there's a stem here with some leaves. So then we'll set this pad aside and we're going to start adhering these to the um, to the canister. Okay. So each um, kit comes with this little stick and this is what you use to burnish the transfer onto your piece. Um, the great thing about these is you can um, go around corners with them. So we can put it on like this and go around the corner and then add some more to that. Um, you can layer with these as well. So you can put one down and then layer on top of that. So I'm just going to play with it for a second and figure out how I want it to look um, and then we'll start putting it on okay so we're gonna start with the large one and I do want it to kind of wrap around the canister like that um, so I'm gonna peel the backing off now the the back of the transfer is sticky you don't want to touch that with your finger again the oils on your finger will keep it from adhering properly to your piece so I'm going to put it down where I want it and then I'm just going to kind of rub it with my hand and then we're going to burnish it with this tool. And you just want to rub over the entire transfer and I'm rubbing right up to that edge all over the transfer. And then I'm going to fold this around the edge. So here's the edge of our piece, folding it over, and I'm going to burnish this side. And as you burnish, it will release from the plastic covering sheet. And you'll be able to tell because the color of the transfer will change a little bit. And then I'm going to just start peeling this off. And as I'm peeling, I'm watching for any pieces that haven't stuck to the actual piece. So all of that adhered. So I'm going to rub over this front piece again just to make sure it's down good. And then we'll start peeling this off. And again, I'm watching for any pieces that are still stuck to the to the cover. And if any pieces is still attached to this, you just lay it back down and burnish over it again. Um, and that makes sure that it gets on. And you want to go slow so you don't pull it all the way off and then realize you have pieces that you need to attach. So here's the empty sheet now. Our lemon is attached to our canister. So I'm going to take this and I'm just going to burnish over it again 
just to make sure that it's all adhered down really well. So there's the first lemon. All right, and now we take our other pieces and we're going to just kind of figure out where we want them to go. So this lemon wraps around and I'm thinking we're going to add this other one kind of right here. Um, and when I peel this backing paper off, I'll be able to line this stem up with the stem that's already on here. So peel it off, being careful not to touch the back of the transfer. You're going to line it up with this other one so that the stem on this touches the stem of this one. And you can just overlap it a little bit. So now it's on. I'm rubbing over it with my finger that just sticks it temporarily and then we'll burnish it with the tool. Now I've burnished the entire piece. So I'm going to start peeling this top sheet off and watching to see if any of of the transfer is still stuck to the paper okay and so right here on the bottom as I started to peel it up I can see that this is still attached to the plastic cover sheet so I'm just going to lay it back down burnish it again and then slowly lift And as I'm lifting, I'm looking to see if it's stuck to the paper. I don't know if you can see that, but this second lemon is still stuck to the paper. So we're going to burnish it again. And as long as you don't pull it completely off, it's really easy to just lay it back down, burnish it a little more, and then pull it again. So going slowly, pulling it up, watching for anything that's not attached to your surface. This leaf is not completely attached. So I'm burnishing that again. And then peel some more. And there we go. Paper's off. Lemon is on our canister. Taking this paper again and just rubbing over the entire surface to make sure it's all adhered down. So you can see that um, I just put this stem right on top of that other one. So now it looks like one piece instead of two separate pieces. So the last piece we have to, to put on is this, this one with the leaves and the little blossom right here. Um, and so we can continue going around our piece. We could put this over here, kind of layering it on top. Um, and so you just want to kind of lay it up there and kind of look. You could take the backing off. Um, but if you're going to take the backing off, you want to be careful and not lay it down. Um, so we're just going to hold it up here and kind of look at it to see what it looks like if I put it right there. It's not touching the surface. I'm just hovering above the surface. Um, and then looking to see what it would look like if we put it over on this side. I think... And I'm going to put it on this side and I'm going to put it right so that it's just touching overlapping just a little bit um, and then this bottom leaf is going to wrap around to this other side okay, so I laid it on you can see this piece of leaf will wrap around to this side
And I'm just burnishing it on, rubbing all over the piece with the burnishing tool. Now, if you didn't want it to wrap around the edge, you could burnish this really well. And then when you peel it off, that piece will stay attached to the paper um, and it'll, it'll come right off at that edge. But I do want to wrap it around. So I'm just gonna lay it down and begin burnishing it on. And that's attached. As we begin to peel it off, we we'll to look to make sure it's all sticking. This top leaf is not sticking to the surface, so I'm going to burnish it some more. And slowly peel. And there you have it. So I'm going to rub over it again with this paper. Making sure that it's all down and adhered to our surface. Okay, and just that quickly, we have a really cute lemon canister. Um, now these would be great to use in your kitchen um, because they do have this little plastic liner. Uh, it is food safe. The lids still have the, the uh, rubber seal. So when you put this on, it seals up really nicely. Um, so you could put, you know, sugar or whatever you want to in these. Um, and I do have two. So I will be um, adding lemons to this one as well um, to make a matching set or at least a coordinating set. They probably won't have the exact same design. Um, but you can make all sorts of things with these lemon drop transfers. So we used um, a couple of pieces. We used three different pieces, but look at all we have left. There's a page of lemons. We took a little tiny bit out of that bottom. There's another page of lemons. Third page of lemons. And, and the great thing is, is it has some that are you know, bigger and some that are smaller. So depending on the size of your project piece, um, you can use the lemons for smaller projects like this or even bigger projects. Um, there's lots of different options there. Um, so once you have your design exactly how you want it, then you can go back over this with an, another coat um, of the clear coat so that'll seal everything in um, and then once it's dry you'll be ready to use it. Um, so let me know in the comments below what you thought about this. Um, if you've used these transfers before or um, I'd lo love to see what projects you've made with the transfers. Um, these just really add kind of a hand painted look to your pieces, um, I think they, they're really, really cute. And like I said, you can use these in, in lots of different ways and they have a lot of different um, sets of transfers. Um, so, you know, it's really, there's something for everyone's taste. Um, if you are local to my area, I live in Prattville, Alabama. So if you're in the River Region area, um, these products are available at my booth at J&G's Flea Market in Prattville. Um, the booth number is B99, and I'm selling the Country Chic paints there as well as IOG products. So we've got the transfers, we've got the air dry clay, we have um, the molds that you use the air dry clay with, and um, some of the stencils. So um, stop by and pick up the products so you can decorate your own pieces. Um, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, um, share it with your friends, um, and consider subscribing. Click that bell notification and you'll be notified anytime we upload a new video. Um, again, thank you for giving me a little bit of your time. Let me know in the comments um, what you think about this product. 
And if you've used it before, um, share with others how easy these are to use. All right. Thank you and have a good day.